Hi all and welcome back to my channel of an everyday life of an ISP. Now you may be wondering to why I'm doing this, obviously it's no brainer, I am your advocate and educator for you guys for hopefully raising awareness and acceptance based on autism and mental health, so hopefully in saying this I can be your voice of reason, whatever it may be. So today I'm going to be talking about hopefully in another autistic related topic, but beforehand if there's any autistics out there, I am sorry if you're going to hear this that you don't want to hear um, based on my uptake about the lighted up blue. And this one's going to be called why I am not going to light it up blue. As we know, basically, there has been some miscommunication and conflicts about this topic, about the light it up blue campaign. And I have clearly shared the reasons and why in one of the videos, why we shouldn't be supporting Autism Speaks and whatnot. And I'll link it in the description below. So if you're into any of these autistic related videos, let me know by either smashing the like or commenting below that you want to see more in the future runs of it because as I said, I'm trying to do as much research I can that is autistic related that it may be similar to some of the ones that has been shared or not hearsay on the actual platform. And I'm saying this also, just remember before I begin this as always, this is just based on my personal experiences and opinions and what I've been hearing through the autistic community and hopefully I can be that voice for the autistic community even though I will be only speaking on maybe based on my experiences and what I've been through through when I've been, you know, diagnosed as a person with Asperger's syndrome, hearsay, or as I like to be called, ASB. So I want to just take the time now, as you know, that I may be always grumbling or moaning about something or making some form of run about how so many people still don't really understand it. What I mean is basically of the lighted up blue or just the autism acceptance week, month or what have you. Because as it's coming real close right now, as we know, in the week of April, basically, you'll be questioning, isn't this a good thing that you're actually raising awareness? towards us about this and giving us that base on understanding. In my jurisdiction, yes it is kind of going the way it is and not quite. The reason being for this is that there is still a lot of stigma and stereotyping around people with autism and there's a lot more that we can do about raising awareness and acceptance here. But as I said many times before, basically, that f the first step to to take is to raise an awareness and in the second you got to do acceptance, which I did clearly share in one of my videos of this quote and more about the concerns in the autistic community. Again, I'll link that in the description and I card above me. But moving on from this, any raising of public awareness is a good thing when it comes down to any autism spectrum conditions. Now be in mind, anyone that's slapping me on this, there has been so many terms that has been interchangeable for what I'm sharing with you all that many people may not like the word autism spectrum disorder. Some may want to just be called as a, you know, autism spectrum. Some nowadays are now changed into autism spectrum condition. So you might hear that a bit more through me at this point in time of what I've researched. But carrying on from this is so long as there are no ulterior motives behind us or that is offered to us and it's just helping people to learn about the condition and how to support those that has it. But then obviously yes, here comes Autism Speaks. Yes, I know that I will get a bit of backlash and people are taking me on this but hear me out while I have, you know, heard of this Nazi organisation for a reason or shall we say not just myself but people in the autistic community and hopefully maybe some that isn't in the autistic community but more importantly it's the autistic community that has heard more of. And let's be sure I share this view I want to basically you know tell you that you can as I said watch the video why you know autistics don't support autism speaks which will be linked in the description. Back to the topic at hand based on my opinions of the Light It Up Blue campaign. As this has been so much successful in the United States alone that has now been pretty ubiquitous. Even major landmarks such as Niagara Falls and the White House have been known to light it up blue. Okay, we don't have the weird blue or whatever to representation of light it up blue. The campaign has created the momentum momentum in the UK recently and I regularly see people posting, you know, supportive I'm lighting it up blue for autism memes all across social media. 
The United Nations de designated April 2nd as World Autism Awareness Day that was dated back into the year of 2007. And the world certainly needs more awareness of autism related issues, if nothing else. Only 16% of people diagnosed as autistic in the UK are in full time employment. And here alone in New Zealand, where I am, 10% of those people who are diagnosed with autistic are in full time employment themselves. And as I say, this seriously is one of the things that needs to be changed. And I've shared a bit some of the changes that needs to be dealt with based on the why we need more autistic advocates, which you can watch in the archive but via or below yeah, in the description because it breaks down those important parts what needs to be changed, I believe. However, there's a much higher percentage that are more cap than capable of working, but they simply don't get those opportunities offered to those we describe as neurotypicals. Someone with a non-autistic brain, this means. You know, in the UK alone, however, World Autistic Awareness Week is organised by the National Autistic Society, which many of the autistics, I believe that I've heard, has supported this organisation more than that lighted up blue American organisation, which has been working on behalf of autistic people and then since 19, the year of 1962. Lot It Up Blue was founded in 2010, however, and was marketed aggressively and successfully that many people now assume it'd be the most obvious campaign to support the cause for people with autism. Most people do so in genuine belief that they are helping the autistic people. Little do they know of what it actually entails, though, however, hence why I'm here today to share my story, or shall I say, share my opinion on this. The White House has lit, lit, lit up blue. However, Autism Speaks are an autism advocacy organization who offers a wide range of therapies, interventions, and treatments for autistic children, which is where the issue starts to creep up in. Up until 2016, however, Autism Speaks openly worked towards finding a cure for autism, despite the autistic community regularly explaining why trying to cure an inherent condition was offensive in their own opinion and in their own given right, which obviously, basically, you can agree to disagree at this point of time that us autistics need a cure, we need to be fixed and all that. This goes to also basically the stereo-stigmatizing of our people on the mental health spectrum of different mental health disorders they need to be fixed or they're broken and everything else. They need a cure, which this needs to stop right now. Um, according to a video they have produced of Autism Speaks, which has been since been withdrawn by the organisations themselves, but there are copies lying around of which can still be found online, having an autistic child meant the end of your life as you know it. A sample from that transcript of the video, I Am Autism, is going to be added in the video so you can watch quickly a short brief about it. And in this video, it, as you watch this, you need to be warned right now. I'm giving you a fair warning. It may cause some triggers to some autistics that doesn't believe in all of what is shared in that video. But if you don't want to watch the video, you can skip it in the next few parts of this video of what I'm sharing with you all. I am autism. I'm visible in your children. But if I can help it, I am invisible to you until it's too late. I know where you live. And guess what? I live there too. I hover around all of you. I know no color barrier, no religion, no morality, no currency. I speak your language fluently. And with every voice I take away, I acquire yet another language. I work very quickly. I work faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined. And if you are happily married, I will make sure that your marriage fails. Your money will fall into my hands and I will bankrupt you for my own self-gain. I don't sleep, so I make sure you don't either. I will make it virtually impossible for your family to easily attend a temple, a birthday party, a public park, without a struggle, without embarrassment, without pain. You have no cure for me. Your scientists don't have the resources and I relish their desperation. Your neighbors are happier to pretend that I don't exist, of course, until... It's their child. I am autism. I have no interest in right or wrong. I derive great pleasure out of your loneliness. I will fight to take away your hope. I will plot to rob 
you of your children and your dreams. I will make sure that every day you wake up, you will cry, wondering who will take care of my child after I die. And the truth is, I am still winning. And you are scared. And you should be. I am autism. You ignored me. That was a mistake. And to autism I say, I am a father, a mother, a grandparent, a brother, a sister. We will spend every waking hour trying to weaken you. We don't need sleep because we will not rest until you do. Family can be much stronger than autism ever anticipated and we will not be intimidated by you, nor will the love and strength of my community. I am a parent riding towards you and you can push me off this horse time and time again, but I will get up, climb back on and ride on with the message. Autism, you forget who we are. You forget who you are dealing with. You forget the spirit of mothers and daughters and fathers and sons. We are, we are the United Kingdom. States. We are Argentina. We are, we are, we are the United Nations. We are coming together in all climates. We call on all faiths. We search with technology and voodoo, prayer and herbs, genetic studies, and a growing awareness you never anticipated. We have had challenges. But we are the best when overcoming them. We speak the only language that matters. Love, love for our, our children. children. Our capacity to love is greater than your capacity to overwhelm. Autism is naive. You are alone. We are a community of warriors. We, we have, have a voice. You think because some of our children cannot speak, we cannot hear them? That is autism's weakness. You think that because my child lives behind a wall, I am afraid to knock it down with my bare hands? You have not properly been introduced to this community of parents, parents and grandparents, of siblings and friends, and school teachers, therapists, pediatricians, and scientists. Autism, if you are not scared, you should be. When you came for my child, you forgot. You me. But the main part here is that I want to clearly share in the quotation what was shared in the video I'm visible in your children but if I can help it I am invisible to you until it's too late I know where you live and this I am autism I have no interest in right or wrong I derive great pleasure out of your loneliness I will fight to take away your hope I will plot to rob you of, of your children and your dreams I will make sure that every day you wake up you will cry wondering who will take care of my child after I die so what it sounds to me basically and that quote alone of that what the video is saying it feels like it's telling us that we should be ending our life even though there has been a few other organizations that has this debacle right now too like people with down syndrome people that are elderly and that should be euthanized because they're not worth anything and that's disgustingly wrong but to bear in mind though autism doesn't rob either myself or anyone for that matter that is diagnosed with autism you know of their dreams if anything it makes our dreams more vivid vivid brilliant and ridiculously wonderful autism can't be cured however it's a difference in the wiring of the brain as i said so many before and it is permanently built up in our genetic makeup and many people mistake autism as a different forte of what it means so in other words of this what autism speaks offers is training to coax your child however into behaving acceptably in which match the same way you would train a dog with all these you know applied behavior analysis therapy is the most common therapy that is offered by organizations such as autism speaks which again i'll speak my part more about this later about the you know dangers maybe of applied behavior analysis for autistics some people may agree that it has worked for their child some may not but i want to do thorough research before i come to my conclusion again many autistic and have spoken doesn't believe in this type of therapy and they have their own personal reasons and beliefs and do so so again i'll share this at a later date the 100 day treatment kit states treatment for autism is usually a very intensive comprehensive undertaking that involves the child's entire family and a team of professionals the recommended numbers of our structured intervention ranges from 25 to 40 hours per week during the school period okay again basically here i want to say that there has been times that we are told we are broken we are not broken and we don't 
need to learn how to fit into your world it's our world as well and we have every right to inhibit and show what our world is like to you you know just as you are having the right to live on this earth of what you are planned to do so you can find endless and numerous comments from those in the autism community explaining how and why they disagree with these methods that are employed by autism speaks about the applied analyst behavior analyst therapy you know that has been employed by autism speaks and that why they prefer to stop lighting up blue so there's a lady that I've been watching of neuro rebel or basically what have you that I've been watching through YouTube as well as on Instagram and that which I've been following and watching some of her videos has put out this very informative vlog of hers which explains just how autism can become very big business after much campaigning and complaints on social media like many other big youtubers i know of that are trying to speak out more about how autism works and that for them like indy andy the aspie world agony Orsi, and so much more that i follow you know and support for them after much campaigning and complaints on the social media as i said autism six have actually brought two autistic people onto the board basically professor stephen shaw is among one of them the author of Understanding Autism for Dummies and Valerie Pierides is an author who was herself diagnosed an autistic at the age of 40. However, this is still only two autistic people out of the 20 that is on the board members, not including the founders and a director emeritus. That's 24 people, only two of whom are truly qualified to speak on behalf of the autistic people, despite Autism Speaks claiming to have withdrawn talk of curing autism from their website. I have, however, downloaded some information resources while researching this feature and found the following quotes within the teaching autism spectrum, you know, section. Most parents would welcome a cure for the child or a therapy that would elevate all of the symptoms and challenges that make life difficult while, you know, dealing with the autistic child, which is fair enough. That's that's their choice, like anything in life. But is there a cure? Is recovery possible? You need to question yourself. You may have heard about children who have recovered from autism. Although this is so relatively rare, it's estimated that approximately 10% of the children lose their diagnosis of autism. Life can be difficult whether or not a person has autism spectrum conditions. Not, no child is perfect and a child with autism doesn't need a cure. Autism speaks however are savvy enough to acknowledge that this isn't one size fits all category treatment for autism so they offer several. Before I write further as you read this or as you watch this today that the term of the autism spectrum disorder has been removed by some people as I said before as some people may call it autism spectrum or just autism spectrum condition as to not offend anyone on this spectrum with autism that are diagnosed with this. Even if you are one of the lucky parents whose child loses their autism spectrum condition diagnosis, that will only be because they have been forced, I believe, into adapting their behaviour in order to appear neurotypical and appear normal. But however, while you train them to hide this, they will still always be autistic. The suggestion that autism is something that can be recovered from is offensive, however, most people never lose their autism spectrum condition diagnosis for simple reasons that autism is a part of us to who and what we are. It's part of the DNA makeup and it can't just forever disappear by the snap of your fingers. Autism is a major part of me is my grey eyes, my genetic hair of my thin hair. They can be temporarily disguised but they'll always be grey underneath it all. I believe we don't need a cure because autism isn't a disease. More importantly though, basically, I believe that we need to be aware that we shouldn't be lighting it up blue. So basically, in saying this, one note to end this to make you think more about what I'm sharing with you all right now is the blue element of the campaign comes from the outdated belief that autism is a male brain condition and a theory that has now widely disproved because obviously now, as I clearly shared so many times before, that many autistics especially females are diagnosed at a later date in life and this is the reason why i've shared one based on that topic about autism and girls on the spectrum or something along those lines if you want to find out more 
about autism in girls and what, like young old women or what have you. I don't mean to say old women, but just women in general that are diagnosed at a later date. I'll link it in the description as well as in the icon above me. More importantly, though, as I said, it's more and more girls are women are now being diagnosed as well as girls as an autistic, largely due to research into how autism presents differently in females than males. For all these reasons, I will never light it up blue. If you want to show your support for autism, that's great. Instead of lighting up blue, light up gold instead with Autism Acceptance Month. Well, this quickly ends, uh, hopefully, a real short brief blurb about why I don't support light it up blue campaign. Smash the like if you like this comment below. Also comment below for any one of you that are autistic or what have you basically if you want to share your matter of opinion based on this of the Light It Up Blue campaign and that's to hopefully spread that word. Feel free to either comment them below or at least if you're brave enough do a video about it. It doesn't have to be that long the reasons to why you don't support Light It Up Blue and if you want to spread awareness. Feel free to actually message me either through my SB Answers or somewhere so that maybe I can find ways to post it either through my SB Answers page or through my blog posts so that I can, you know, share what around somehow or either through my SB Answers page. So without further ado guys, thanks for the support, thanks for watching and don't forget also I've got a merch store now. As you can see I'm wearing one of my merch right now that I've created up. You can find that in the description below as well as hopefully in the screen sort of thing. And in saying this also, if you want to support my future videos and into what I'm doing through advocacy work and everything else that I've got planned right now, I've got a Patreon account. It doesn't have to be a large amount. It can be as much as you want to give. It doesn't matter if you don't want to, no pressure sort of thing because as I said, I want to do as much as I can in the near future to bring out more videos as well as doing all these other future plans that comes today. So don't forget to do guys, thanks for support, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias as well as it comes up if you wish to. And don't forget to share these videos around to family and friends and to anyone you feel that needs to hear this. So don't forget to do guys, thanks for support, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you all again soon. Ciao for now.